Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, I know there may be a lot going on in your life today, and maybe you feel like a victim. Maybe it looks like things are impossible. But with me, nothing is impossible, my child. You have the power within you to overcome. Yes, for my grace is sufficient. And I've promised to make a way of escape out of every situation. Remember, I put strength, joy and victory inside of you. And I want you to overcome this day. My child, know that I am with you. And the next thing that I will do for you will be miraculous in your eyes. Yes, remember, your history does not define your destiny. For what I have for you is bigger than you, my child. Remember, I will use the most flawed and unlikely of individuals for my glory. Do not allow your past to discourage you today from taking a bold destiny step towards the promise that I have installed for your life. Remember, David was an adulterer, but I refined him and he repented of his sins and he even murdered. Paul persecuted Christians. Peter denied me, yet I still use them in mighty ways, my child. Yes, my Holy Spirit will sanctify your life and I am faithful and just to forgive you of your sins. So the next time the enemy tries to remind you of your past, remind him of his future. Yes, my child, I have won the victory on the cross and I will use your life as a platform for me. Yes, because I will position you for such a time as this and I will receive all the glory. Remember, the battle is not yours, but it belongs to me and I have the strategy and the wisdom. Yes, for my ways are not your ways, my child. Therefore, you must trust the process. So don't let your emotions be your decision maker today, but stop and pray. Yes, my child, allow my presence to change everything. I will give you the strength when you think that you can't go on. I will give you joy when you feel discouraged and I will make a way when it looks impossible for you. Yes, my child, what you've been praying for is on its way to you. It's going to be bigger, better and greater than you've ever imagined. Keep the faith and trust the process. Yes, trust my process that I will bring you through, my child, because I have greater things ahead for you. You may be dealing even with sickness and loss and a bad break of what has happened of recent. And maybe you feel like your life has dropped you and it's felt like discouragement surrounds you. But you need to get ready, my child, because I'm about to pick you up and use you for my glory. Yes, I will not just bring you out the same, but I will set you on high and bring you out better than before. Yes, my child, you have been chosen and you have been picked by me for a special assignment. Remember, the plan that I have for you, my child, is uniquely designed for you. That's right. I will finish all that I've started in your life. The delay will be turned into a miracle for you. Yes, because I'm going to put a new song of praise within your heart. This is a season where I will amaze you, yes, with my goodness and my favor. You are going to see your prayers answered. So therefore, do not give up today and neither let go of my promises or my word, because my word will not return back to be more void, but it shall accomplish everything that it sets out to achieve. My Holy Spirit is at work, transforming all those who are my disciples into something that the the law of the old covenant could never do. Yes, my child, my spirit has freedom inside of you and you are a temple 
of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, as you know that you are a temple, you must be aware that He is with you at all times. So as you are in a season of waiting, my child, and know that I am preparing something. Yes, sometimes you are in seasons of waiting because your blessing is being prepared on the other side. Therefore, wait patiently because I am ordering your steps, my child. So when you have to wait, know that I am working. And when you have to wait for things, you will also cherish and appreciate them. I am fixing the broken pieces of your life. So get ready for restoration, my child. For every bad thing that has happened within your life, my child, know that I have protected you from worse. Therefore, allow me to bring healing and freedom to your weary soul today. For I will turn your ashes into beauty. Yes, you are not alone, because I have Promise never to leave you nor forsake you, even to the ends of the earth. Therefore, trust in me, knowing that I am with you and knowing that I am for you. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Colossians 1 verse 27, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of all glory. Hallelujah. The Christian is not a religious fellow, but one in whom all the fullness of deity resides. If you're born again, God dwells with inside of you, precious saints. And this should not just give you a new mindset and confidence in life. There's a big difference between us today, the new creation and the Old Testament folks. God's plan was to be in them, but they couldn't enter into his rest because of unbelief. When Jesus came, he came as Emmanuel, meaning God is with us, and thus was with them until his crucifixion. After the resurrection and the arrival of the Holy Spirit, the new creation, the church came into being, and now he lives in us by the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. He's no longer Emmanuel, God with us, but God in us. God was with the prophets of old, but he is more with us today than he was with them. Hallelujah. This is the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but has now been made manifest to his saints. That mystery is Christ in you, the hope of all glory, precious saints. So how do we know that our life is going to be glorious? Because Christ is in us. That's our hope for a healthy, prosperous, vibrant and successful life. That's our confidence that we'll never be defeated in life. The Bible says that he, when he died, I died with him. When he was buried, I was buried with him. And when God raised him from the dead, I was raised together with him. And now that we have been raised together with him and made to sit together with him in heavenly realms, no more death and no more defeat and no more sickness in him because I now live and forever. Hallelujah. Remember, you're not just an ordinary person. You belong in a special class of divine beings, the Christ in you species. That's right. This is your hope for the transcendent life of the miraculous today. God wants to use you, precious saints. Your delay is over. God is about to move in a mysterious way. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying again right now, you have hope inside of you. You have the hope of glory in you. And you must also take that hope to places where there is no hope. When there is no hope, this means that you may encounter the spirits of harassment, oppression, 
persecution, embarrassment. But remember, I go before you and have given you all authority to overcome the spirits that restrain, resist and reject my purpose. It is time to cross the boundaries and enlarge your territory. These and especially to those that are lost, that live outside the truth. For I am the way and I am the truth and I am the life. And the truth is the only thing that will set them free in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, for every spirit of delay, every spirit of rejection, every spirit of limitation that has been upon those people's lives that are listening unto this prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we know, Lord, we thank you that marriage is an institution created by you. When you created Adam and Eve, now, O oh Lord, I come before you asking that you will bless that relationship that will lead to marriage for every person. Lord, I pray, Lord, for those that are experiencing delay, let that delay be broken in the name of Jesus Christ, where there has been something that has been dragging their partners, Lord, to become bored or to move on or to postpone or whatever the situation may be. May that be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray where there has been issues in marriages, let those generational ancestral spirits be broken today that have been coming against marriages in the name of Jesus Christ. We break today. We break the demon of limitation in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus may deliver them in the fire of the name of Jesus Christ. Any delay in their lives and family die by fire in the name of Jesus. Any power bringing delay within their lives die in the name of Jesus. Any demon, any spirit working against them or their family must die in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been tying them down and tying their life be loosened today off their family now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that is blocking their progress may also be loosened and removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power standing in their way may it be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power bringing disappointment to their lives must also be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power using cobwebs to block them from their destiny be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil dreams of delay or setbacks where you see yourself going back to past houses, past schools, past relationships. Lord, let it be removed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Cobwebs in their life, they must catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Any arrow delaying their progress must also be removed and die in the name of Jesus Christ. Chains of stagnation within their life break now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow of disappointment be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of hard life be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power ordained to break, break them or make them rise and fall, Lord, be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is stopping them from being where you want them to be. Lord, we thank you right now as we speak your word. Lord, we thank you. Lord, I pray whatever needs to come about, let it come in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you that there'll be no more delay within their lives. There'll be no more rejection. There'll be no more limitation. But we pray that you will send a miracle to each person. Heavenly Father, release your anointing upon their lives lives. Bring healing, bring deliverance, bring freedom, bring open doors, open doors that no man can open within this hour. Lord, we thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the breaker anointing that breaks out, that breaks through, that breaks over and breaks into the new season. Heavenly Father, I thank you for each person within their lives that you'll bring them to a new area, a new level, a new level within their 
their lives, Lord, that only your spirit, only a fresh wind of your Holy Spirit can touch them and fill them today as they receive these words that they may go to the next level of where you're calling them to in Jesus' mighty name. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget, today is Corporate Friday Fasting. Hallelujah. We've got the up and coming 10 days fasting in September. As you know, the program is about to be released. And also, don't forget, We've got the three-day fasting that always happens every month. But in September, we are doing a 10-day fast anyway. So I just want to encourage you, if you want to share your testimony, you can do by sending it to pst.robertclancy at outlook.com. You can share your testimony to encourage the saints so that they will also be encouraged. And I encourage you just to claim someone else's testimony. Just say, I claim that for myself also, because God is not a respecter of persons. He doesn't look at gender. He doesn't look at the color of our skin. He doesn't look at, you know, your status in society or any of those things. He is a way maker and he will make a way for you also. So I just want to bless you today from my family to yours. God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom. (laughs) 